what does it mean to be a citizen in the 21st century city? Well, as we know, cities are very transient spaces. They invite students, um, tourists, visitors from elsewhere. Um, and so the idea of a citizen uh, as being defined as a, a, a member of, of a country that is a voting recognized citizen doesn't necessarily always play out in the traditional way. But yet, as a person who participates in the city or lives in the city, works in the city, visits the city, you still have a sense of right and duty to the city. Um, and that right and duty might be to, to be aware of what's happening around you, to be aware of the critical factors that are shaping our city, and what responsibility do you have in terms of being party to the broader decision-making um, and processes that are at play. Traditionally, that is, you as a citizen have a right to vote. Um, and in voting, um, you are engaging, uh, one would hope, with the broader debate that, um, that define political platforms, so the figures that we then eventually vote into parliament. But outside of the electoral process, um, you as a citizen, or us as citizens collectively, do have a responsibility to, to hold those politicians to account once they are elected. And often, and this is sort of universally seen uh, in countries around the world, that politicians often get elected on mandates, but they don't always do what they say they're going to do. And then that's when decisions become very political. And so what does it mean to be a participating citizen? Well, outside of the electoral process, that might involve um, participating in petitions, campaigning, street protests, or even just liking a, a campaign page. In between that electoral cycle, when it comes to city planning, one of the conventional ways in which we participate, and that is the government invites citizens to actively engage in a project proposal, would be through a town hall meeting. Now, town hall meetings are flawed. They have been flawed and they are flawed in part because it's usually the expert planner, um, the, the well-read politician coming in and inviting you to, to listen to the pitch and to have your say. But there is no sense of accountability. So what happens when you engage in these spaces? Where does that knowledge and that conversation then go? And how do we know that it's actually informing policy decisions um, that will then you know, shape the city that we live in? So what we have seen over the last 15 years are a series of new technologies around citizen participation. One of the well-known and certainly celebrated examples is the citizen's jury or the citizen panel, also called the citizen parliament. So different places around the world call it different things, but here in Australia we call them citizen's juries. And what it is, it, it invites a representative sample of folks that make up our community to a, to a space um, over the course of multiple days and they listen to experts who offer advice and, 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 and evidence to be considered, and then they deliberate. Now the key, the key word there is deliberate. This is what often doesn't happen during um, a cycle of voting. We don't always have the space to have a conversation, to consider evidence, and, and to hear um, dissenting views. And so a citizen's jury is a, is a really fabulous way to, to critically think through some of the problems that we are facing in the 21st century city. And then to consider scenarios for the future, possible opportunities for addressing different um, scenario um, possibilities, and then a discussion around solutions. And of course, um, what we'd like to see in citizen's juries is a discussion around who is going to be impacted by those decisions, who's going to win and who's going to lose, um, and how these projects are potentially, or policy ideas are going to be funded. Now that is essentially a political decision. And then that's where citizens participation gets a little bit messy. Now, a lot of participants actually have a very strong interest in the city and have a very strong position and um, sense of um, regard and responsibility. Um, that includes planners themselves who are also citizens as well as professional planners and they have a body of knowledge which is absolutely essential to planning and thinking through some of the challenges that we see um, in cities. But there are also others that have very narrow interests as well. And so that's why we see the rise of um, participatory tools like uh, participatory budgeting, citizens' juries, and other ways to kind of move beyond simply um, the folks who have a very strong and particular and oftentimes narrow interest in the city and they participate for the sole purpose to make sure that that interest is served. Um, and that's 
raises lots of questions in terms of power, and power dynamics is something that, um, in a participatory space, needs to be called out. Um, because in the absence of calling it out, we, we, we risk being steered by interests that aren't always known and power dynamics that aren't always called out.